Good morning, my name's Nicola Holly Timlin. I'm from the West Australian Wheat Bout and today is Monday the 24th of July 2023. Now I'm making this video in regards to my findings on technology that's going on around the world. Some will call it uh, telemedicine, some will call it a wireless body area network, um, some will call it a virtual telepresence. Um, what it, or some people actually call it, um, call who are a part or have been entered into this medical system, they actually call themselves a targeted individual. Um, however, it's a medical platform that, and neurological platform, which is being rolled out across the world. Um, for it's in aged care, well, the, for the budget. Um, instead of the elderly people having to get on buses, trains, get in cars, it's special rural, remote and regional areas of the world. Um, it's called a, they're going to have a medical platform within uh, sustainable communities. At this stage, it's called uh, telemedicine, but it's for a uh, virtual telepresence for wireless body area network node architecture. So you can be getting around within your community. The systems and sensors pick up problems with your heart rate, with your EEG, ECGs, um, every, every aspect of your neurological and physical body is picked up by these nodes. And so you can go about your day, get an illness, it can be fixed without you ever knowing you were sick. Um, there's a lot of research that's gone into this. Um, it started off with a um, small business initiative research for DARPA's Seed Bank Seed Fund, which moves on to DARPA's uh, Connectin project. It goes back to mapping, geological information system mapping within your environment that work within your nodes set up by your telephone exchange. Now, this medical platform is going to be absolutely wonderful when it's rolled out, well, medical neurological platform. It, the backlogging for the hospital surgeries, for mental health on a global scale, instead of having to go into a building or to go and visit someone, they will be monitoring you 24-7, not just within your environment, but also within your home. Um, like I said, it's, it's via the telephone exchanges with the smart node, fat node consulting. Um, so this medical platform that's set up via telephone exchange is part of, a, well, it falls into your smart grid for your sustainable power um, because it's a digital network and the world is a digital network now. So you have been integrated um, into an integrated service digital network. Now, this integrated service digital network for medical and neurological, um, you have unfortunately been entered into this system without your knowledge and or consent. I myself have found out I've been put into this system. Um, this system is an integrated broadcast server that is going to serve the system. The system is a complex adaptive system. It's more or less the earth. Earth's data and city, cities are a complex adaptive systems. That complex adaptive system, earth, gets a digital twin. Complexity system science meets earth's simulation. Everything that runs the earth is within a computer simulation. Now, so complexity system science meets systems engineering, a foundation for complex adaptive agent-based modeling. So you're more or less a form in a loop between Earth and its nodes and its sensors with the simulation Earth's digital twin. And so you Complexity system science meets systems engineering, a foundation for complex adaptive agent-based modelling. Then comes the development of software agents to replace 
a human within the complexity system science meets system engineering, a foundation for complex adaptive agent-based modelling architecture, then the development of software agents to replace a human. In the loop, you have a digital twin in Earth's digital twin in the system. Now, that then leaves humans in context, critical social dimensions in a complex landscape systems because human beings are now an agent within the complex adaptive system. So your little agent getting around in your little digital environment, exactly digital twin of your environment, the medical systems in that can monitor you. This is next generation IP to the max. IP, IPv6, you got the loop, you got your environment, you got the Earth's digital twin, Earth system simulator for Australia. It's Australia community, community climate meets Earth system simulator. This is via the NCI supercomputer facility. Everything ground floor is collected by the by a omnibus, omni antenna for Australia. For the rest of the world, I know you've got cactus antenna, but for Australia, you've got your omni antenna or omnidirectional antenna for your omnipresence for your omnibus. Now, this is collecting your ground floor. They're referred to as four quadrant assess points, which collect different data from different parts of your body, put it all together, and send it elsewhere pretty much. Um, it falls under, for Australia, the Bioeconomy, which falls under the National Health Medical Research Council and Department of Defence. They all fall under this integrated broadcast server, which turns out to be a Department of Defence project. It falls under the Bioeconomy, the Medical Countermeasure Consortium for chemical, biological or radiological problems within defence and civilian environments. So that, that's pretty much, not complexity system science, but this is all within the system. Now, this system will work for your dynamic environment effects model, which, without getting too technical, what it more or less means is wherever you are on the Earth, you are monitored 24-7 because of the system that you were entered into without your knowledge or consent. The department or the consortium that approved human beings being used for such research is the Technical Corporation, the TTCP program. They approve all the research via the infrastructure that's come out of Europe for the framework programs. The particular framework program that I'm talking about works with the global platform for your complexity system science to work with system engineering. It's for Australia, the Complex Open Systems Network, COSNET, and it's via, it, for agent-based modelling, via NetLogo and network analysis with Paycheck. Now, Paycheck, this is where it gets the genealogy, the protein and genealogy for the Connectum project, for the Neurological Connectum project for DARPA. Um, that's all set up through the National Health, uh, the World Health Organization, the Food, Drug and Alcohol Contaminated Disease Center, for of course, world, uh, National uh, World Memorandum of Understanding for a Medical Countermeasure Consortium for CBR applications. Now, there's two forms of CBR applications on a global scale, but we'll focus on Australia. Now for Australia, CBR is chemical biological, which can be brought to you via the dynamic environment effects model, dynamic object orientation geographical information systems. It, a lot of big words, it's very confusing. Like I said, I have been um, investigating and researching this platform for, for close to 20 years. So I can 
I know those words, they, it's like chalk and cheese to me, I can just... So the, um, this medical countermeasure consortium, which comes with a memorandum of understanding between Australia, Canada, New Zealand, America, via Europe, when it comes to using civilians for medical on that platform, it was approved by Tony Chant, the TTCP team, and the other two goons that was with them in Katanning way back in the early days. Um, all the bio side of it goes through the Biosecurity Agriculture Management Bill for CSIRO, which missed the budget and didn't go into a budget thereafter because of the nature of the bigger picture. But at the end of the day, when it comes to medical, whether it's for the better or for the worst, you have to get consent by that person. The people that are running around saying that they're doing telemedicine, that's fine. But when you have a virtual telepresence for a virtual healthcare delivery system via a wireless body area network fat node consulting within your community, you need to be concerned. The people that are calling them targeted individuals, they like myself, have been integrated into Saudi's complex open system for complex adaptive systems network, which goes back to Argonne National Labs Advanced Computer Application Centre, 9700, Building 900. For Professor Peter Campbell, Pamela Sudico, Fat Node Consulting, and Gordon Laurie for my Dynamic Object Orientation Geographical Information System, which I can bring into my community, into Katanning of the Wheat Belt, which does happen to be a defence training ground. Now, when defence and medical are doing black ops, it's all good and well doing it in the rest of the world because they can cover what goes on. But unfortunately, with Katanin being a defence training ground, civilians and their property are not meant to be damaged, let alone used, for a wireless body area network, wireless systems network, involving Tyson Venturi, Broad Spectrum, Spectra, which I will take to the Australia Academic Research Network, to Steve Maddox, the Director of Operations, and then pass it on to my internet doctor, Dr Larry Smarr, for my integrated service digital network called the National Broadband Network. Now that's, have you seen the National Broadband where they talk about thinking and the thoughts can run the country and broadband will activate you for a broad spectrum of abuse. The medicals in the National Broadband Network. The National Broadband Network is on the Opta C1 satellite, which Department of Defence paid 19.5 million and got dibs on. So that C1 is now a C2. But the Singtel Optus civilian KU band for my L, LA, which is land, land and air, covered by Iridum, which is a handheld terminal, which Iridum is also in Marsat, which is covered through your airports for the um, space cadets, as I like to call them. I can keep rattling on and rattling on and rattling on, but I'll leave it with you there. People need to find out, especially targets, need to find out about a wireless body area network for neuro, EEG and ECG monitoring. In Australia, you can take it all the way back to South Australia, Wollongong, for smart infrastructure facility, cloud computing, 
Internet of Things or the Internet of Human Things. Um, that's Dr. Matthew Berryman, who, after getting it all set up via, well, not Dr. Matthew Berryman, but one Professor Peter Campbell, Advanced Computer Application Centre, Argonne National da Lab, did everything complex adaptive systems for SARDI's complex open systems of systems where complexity system science, Earth, meets systems engineering, a foundation for complex adaptive agent-based modelling, which in turn puts a human in the loop, and that's uh, HILS, H-I-L-L-S, so, which leaves a human in the loop for medical. I'll leave it at that. Bye.